This is a uh, Folgers Hazelnut uh, Decaf Coffee, and I'm going to be reviewing this today. I always keep decaf coffee in my house, specifically this kind, um, for guests that come over that request decaf. Typically, it's my, my grandmother and my parents in laws you know, kind of older people, but not always. Sometimes kids, you know, my nephews, they know that I have a lot of coffee here. So I give them this, and um, it actually helps with my own coffee addiction. Um, as the name of this YouTube channel says, Coffee Addict. That is because I do have a, a genuine coffee addiction, and I noticed this when I would watch TV or movies late at night, and somebody enters the show carrying a coffee or drinks, you know, coffee off their desk or, or whatever. And that made me want coffee real bad. And so at night when I'm watching TV, it's like 9 or 10 o'clock, I want a cup of coffee because I'm seeing other people have coffee and I'm like, I want what they're having. Um, so instead of having regular caffeinated coffee at 9, 10 o'clock, I switch to the decaf and I have this. Um, and it helps with that and my coffee addiction is not as bad. It's still there, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Um, but it is a real thing. However, you know, if coffee is the only thing I'm addicted to, then, you know, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with the coffee addiction. It, it's all right. But anyways, back to the coffee. So decaf, flavored decaf coffee is pretty hard to find in a store, in, even online. They don't make a lot of flavored decaf coffee, and I'm not sure why. If there's just not the, if, if people don't just buy that as much as they would regular flavored coffees or just generic, you know, non-flavored decaf, I'm not sure what the reasoning is. So this is just basically one of the handful of options I had, and I'm okay with that because this is perfect. Folgers is, you know, my go I've said it before, I'll say it again. Folgers is my go-to brand. It's my best friend of the coffee world. It's always there for me. And that's um, the same with this, the decaf. So I go with this. The, you know, it still has the great coffee flavor. So it tastes um, kind of just like the uh, classic roast Folgers. However, it has a punch in the face of hazelnut coffee. This is not hazelnut light or hazelnut diet in flavor. This is full on hazelnut coffee. I mean, the picture there looks delicious and that shows you. It, it has a full punch of flavor in this coffee. But if you want more coffee, let me recommend this creamer. This is the Dunkin' uh, Vanilla Extra Extra Creamer. Typically, um, if you've watched any of these other videos, I usually go for the sugar-free vanilla uh, co front coffee creamers. And that's just because, just to make the coffee a little bit lighter, you know, I'm, I'm kind of overweight, so I definitely want to lose weight. So if I can cut some calories here or there, I want to. But I figure I'm being good enough with no caffeine that maybe I'll add some calories and some fat. So I will tell you, it does have a lot of vanilla flavor and this uh, coffee creamer, I would say, is creamier than others that I've had, and I can't explain how or why that would be. I don't know if it just uses more like half and half or more milk product in there. I'm not sure, but it is more of a creaminess. So if you like your milk very creamy and very milky, then this is a good option for you. Also, the vanilla really highlights the hazelnut, and the two flavors are just bouncing back and forth to another. I don't wanna say that the vanilla enhances the hazelnut because it's such a strong flavor on its own that they just combine to make a vanilla hazelnut decaf coffee, and it is perfect, it is awesome. So if you're looking for hazelnut coffee, I recommend Folgers Hazelnut Decaf.